Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the patterns. Yes, I have a lot of the works and a lot of the tutorials about the patterns, but it's kind of patterns as you can see right now we didn't do for the our uh, for the our panels. So we will do it in this tutorial. If you think this is tutorial will be easy, no, I will make like four different patterns as you can see. Here we have, uh, it's just mirrored, here the full pattern, here without, and this is uh, just closed. Actually, this is only one family, as you can see, this is only one family, and we will do that in this tutorial. So, let's get started. As always, I will start from the scratch, so we will create the new, even we will create the new project. Let me, I will do that, we don't need to save it, and we, I will use the architecture metric metric template. I think you already know what is that metric template, uh, imperial one, uh, I don't need to explain it. Let me, I will go to the wall, and here I will find my curtain wall. Uh, as you know, the curtain wall, we don't have any panels. Actually, we have only one single panel. Let me, I will go to the tree, and here is the my one single panel. First, first of all, let me I will um, just limit it by the by the height. As you can see, here is the top constraint unconnected. We will connect it to the second floor. This is just uh, work for us, so you can just leave it as it is. I I just prefer to prepare all the work. Okay, after that I will select my curtain wall. I will go to the additional type and I will change the name. I will. I mean, I will duplicate it, and I will create a new name. So, and a new way, name, same symbolic. Let me will do it like that. You can write what, whenever you want, and let me will go here to vertical mullions, as you can see, and we have um, here. What we have? Ah, vertical grid. Sorry, not mullions. Grid. We need a fixed number. Actually, our family will be fully parameterized, so it means, don't worry, if your uh, distance not will be exactly like we will do the family, it will be okay, it will be automatically changed, I mean the fixed distance. And let me, I will start from the 250, and here will be also 250 millimeters. Let's say okay, and now you will see how it will be divided by grids. So, this is what we will start. This just our family. This is just our project where we'll import our family. Let me I will close my previous tutorial. I don't need it. I will save it. Just close it. And now we will create the new family. Let me I will create the new family, new, and we need the family. As you understand, we need metric generic pattern uh, panel based curtain wall. Here is that metric curtain wall panel, and we will use that one. Let's say OK, and now we are inside in family template. I know it will work on this view, we will work on the exterior view. OK, here we are. And first, before, before we will start, better for us if we will change the size of the grid. It will, it just like a reference, nothing else. Here will be, if I'm using the 175, uh, 250, it will be 175, yeah, I already say that. And as you can see, here is 250 by 250. Let me I will check. Yeah, 350, sorry. Uh, 250, oh, yeah, I'm uh, I, I calculating really, really awesome. Now I think it's much, much better. Yeah, 250, 250. We no need it actually, and what we're gonna do next? Next we will go to the create, and we will go to the extrusion. Let me I will create first. First of all, we will create the boundary. Let me I will use the line, and let's align it to the each of this line, just one by one. One, one, and one. After that, we will create one more boundary because it will be open inside, and now we need dimension. Don't forget, your dimension should be connected to the reference line, and only after that to the line. It will be better for us. Let me I'll say 1 to 10. And now, reference line, and this line. Okay, same here, reference line, 
and this line and again reference line and that line okay let's create the new parameter the new parameter uh, let's create the new parameter better we will do it's like that new parameter because it's automatically uh, choosing the type of the parameter you don't need to think about that and that parameter will be frame frame and thickness frame thickness let me I will apply the frame thickness it will be mm. let's, let's leave it at 15 millimeter uh, let me I will do is 1 to 5 even I will do it 1 to 2 and now let's apply this thickness everywhere one by one let's select done so and after that extrusion extrusion end we should apply it to let me will create the new parameter and that parameter will be frame uh, okay let me say okay and let's leave it 250 it will be okay so it's automatically already 250 as you can see let's say okay what we're gonna what we have right now let me I will go to the 3d i will close all the views i need only 3d and as you can see here is our cube everything perfect we will leave it right now as it is let me now to create the symbolic inside how we can do that first i want to hide this frame just select it h h double h h and you temporarily hide your object which you selected and now let's create the new object we need to go to the create and now to the extrusion before we will continue i want to say the special thanks for these people who are supporting me on the patreon if you want to become the my patreon and help to my the channel just go to the link below the video you will find the patreon and you can spend even just one dollar to help to do my channel i want to say for these people really thank you because some of these people already supporting me more than two years thank you guys and let's continue so let's choose extrusion again and now we need only the start and end radius arc let me i will use from this intersection and this and let's say we need maybe 250 it will be okay we did it but before we will continue let's use the align and let's align one this line and lock it and the second line and lock it and the same thing with the other side just one by one we did it now let's select our arc and let's use the mirror with draw axis from this side to this and as you can see it's automatically already locked you don't need to do anything this is the reason for us now we need to use the offset and let's say it will be 10 millimeters as you can see it here and offset will go to the inside one and second one. Oh, sorry this is my mistake and second one use the trim render right now and the magic is you no need to do anything with the offset just say okay and now is the magic let me i will change the size and as you can see changing just Control z it's changing the size you no need to do anything let's uh, uh, select our symbolic line and our extrusion we will a bit change now as you can see it's uh, 250 millimeters i will change it to the uh, frame thickness so it will be same like 15 millimeters only uh, maybe you can make it much bigger this is only up to you but we will just change extrusion start let's say extrusion start will start from the two just we will push it a bit inside okay we did it now before we will continue let's select it again and let's create the visible view visible view will be create a new parameter and this is will be uh let's say symbolic part one we will understand okay this is symbolic part one so it means we will have a part two and we will create it right now everything same you're going to the create extrusion 250 millimeter don't forget so we did it 
use the align. Let's align one by one. Lock it. Lock it. As you can see, it's not so hard to create really interesting form. Now select it, draw axis and mirror. Done. And after that, we need to use the offset. Offset to the inside. We did, again, my mistake. We did it. Use the trim. One by one, we did it. Everything all right, everything all right. Say OK. Select again your object. Say it's starting from the tool. And it's also the same with the thickness. OK, and visible view, as I said, will be symbolic part two. Say OK. So we almost done, actually, our form. Let's uh, unswitch our height, temporary height. And as you can see, we did it. If you go to the 3D, you can see it's already working. So what we're going to do next? Next, we will create the types of the our family. Here is the types, as you can see. Let's create the first one. It will be empty. As you understand, empty, all our symbolic part will be off. Let me create one more. This is, will be symbolic part one. Uh, not will be part, it's uh, half. You can create as you want. It will be just a half. So half, it means just one part will be. OK, we will create another part. This is another half. It will be switching on the second part. And let's create the one more. This is, will be a full. Full. It will be switching on two. And as you can see, we have now different variants when it's open uh, when it's uh, off or on. So we're done with that. If you want, you just can spend time and create, for example, um, materials for them. But this is already up to you. So now it's time to load it inside to the project. But before we will do that, don't forget to save it. Because we wanna have the create, we wanna get the correct name. Or you have the another way. Let's load it inside to the project. I will show you another way. Let's go to back to the families. Here you will find it under project browser. Let me go to the families. Here we'll find the curtain panels. And as you can see here, family two. So this is actually our family. Let's rename it, right click and here rename. And let's say this will be symbolic. Done. Now you saved your family inside in your project with correct name without saving in your PC. It's possible too. So now we want to change our mm, panels. Let's select everything, filter, and I want to select only the panels. Let's say OK. And here, as you can see, I can now choose the panels. Let's use the my panels. As you can see here is the full, ha half, and whatever. I will use the full one. It will take a bit the time. And as you can see, we did it. We did it. And this is really was simple. In the next tutorial, we will do the much complicated thing. We will use Dynamo and we will create randomized thing. Not like right like now. Now it's not randomized. And the next time we will create from this family's randomized. When some of the parts will be switched on, some will be off, and it will be create our pattern much interesting. So, but for today it's finished. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.